In this video, we will talk about gold. Gold is a natural resource, and in natural resource economics, we are concerned about how a natural resource is consumed and depleted over time. So here, let's analyze the dynamics of gold mine by using the differential equations. In this uh, numerical example, we are given the initial condition to begin with. So not just the general time path, we can also find out the definite time path. And the decay rate is given, which is modeled with this first order differential equation. And uh, it's a kind of DIY. As you complete the first part, you can also find out uh, the answer of this which will have its own economic interpretation. So let's start with the first part in which this uh, first order differential equation is given and the initial condition is also given. So firstly we note the given differential equation which is this and we compare it with the standard form which will allow us to have the value of A and B and instead of G we have Y and instead of this derivative we have this value. So finally we have these values extracted from this set of values. This is the initial condition which is also given. Now we choose the case that we are dealing with. Primarily we consider the value of B and B is not equal to 0 which is non-homogeneous case. And then we have A which is also not 0. So we have a non-homogeneous case which has, uh, you know, A non-zero. So we can use this uh, definite solution formula because the initial condition is given. So the formula for this is written here. And then we have the substitution process in which the boxes, they are guiding us about the substitution as well as these underlines and then we put the values B and A and then A and then B and then A and then this initial condition and then this is simple algebra that you can easily do and it is definitely aimed at finding the time path so the time path in front of us is calculated it's the definite time path because there is no arbitrary constant in it and in this time path this is the complementary function and this is the particular integral now we can observe the dynamic stability of it and for that we are expecting a de exponential decay because the negative sign is there in the exponent so now we have the table in which we separately plot the values of complementary function and the time path on uh, on the whole. This is the complementary function part and this is the complementary function part added with the particular integral. So we get the overall time path. This is uh, a little bit of calculation that you can easily do. And the finding is that this value is decreasing. You know that we have taken the values of t uh, which is um, you know with certain gaps we can see that 1 and then 40 and 80 we've taken a substantial gap of 40 and the reason is that the decline is now more visible because if we had taken values without much of the gap there would have been less uh, difference and the change would not have been noticeable so now the change is noticeable. We start from 1000, we reach nearly equal to 0. Consequently, the time path also declines substantially, that is from 1400 to 400. Now this uh, remark part is here. And in this, we can say that as the time goes on, the complementary part of the function fades to 0 and g status is equal to 400 this was the equilibrium so as the complementary part is fading away the time path is now converging to the equilibrium which is 
400. It is also visible in this diagram where you can see 400 is the equilibrium of this gold mine value and uh, 1400 is the initial value, the initial condition. And as that time passes, the time path is now declining as the deviation that is the complementary function is declining. So it is getting close to equilibrium which is represented with this. Uh, so this is how we can easily understand that how the uh, convergence can take place in this situation where we are trying to observe the dynamics of the gold mine. Thank you.